Our coverage on Title 42 continues tonight. Just hours ago, a federal judge out of Louisiana ruling to continue the policy on migrants seeking asylum. The policy was set to end on Monday. It was invoked in March of 2020 due to COVID and denies migrants a chance to request asylum on the grounds of preventing the spread of COVID. Migrants have been deported more than 1.9 million times under this policy. Tonight's ruling earning reaction for both lawmakers and local leaders. That includes Senator John Cornyn, who calls the immigration situation on the border a crisis. He adds keeping Title 42 is a necessary tool to address it. CBS 4's Iris Karami has the story. The Border Patrol has told me that without Title 42 or some alternative tool in place to control immigration flows across the border that they will lose control. Cornyn openly supports legal immigration but says the situation at the border is hurting legal entry programs such as DACA. But the unfortunate thing is because of the, the, uh, the crisis that's currently occurring at the border, I don't think that uh, Texas uh, Texans or Americans are going to let us confer an additional immigration benefit on these dreamers, these DACA recipients, no matter how deserving, uh, as long as this thing is on fire. Texas Representative Terry Canales agrees, saying there needs to be border regulations and agrees with the ruling of Title 42 remaining. But the reality is opening the border um, at this time for people that are seeking asylum or refugees without having any sort of uh, barrier and safeguard for the American people for COVID-19 uh, is absolutely um, irresponsible. The city of McAllen releasing a statement showing support for today's decision, saying, quote, the city of McAllen welcomes today's decision by Judge Robert R. Summer Hayes of the U.S. District Court that the CDC policy, Title 42, which kept emigrants out of the country due to COVID-19, must remain in place. Other leaders across the valley believe our area is not prepared for the end of Title 42 and plans should first be put into place. We are going to have an influx of immigrants coming through our ports of entry and the projections are 18,000 or more per day which is not sustainable. So at some point it needs to end. However, we need to make sure that we have a plan, comprehensive plan, that's gonna address the influx before we remove Title 42. Working for you, I'm Iris Karemi. As for what comes next, that depends on the Department of Justice and whether an appeal will be filed. You can keep up with the latest developments at valleycentral.com.